Miss Casas? Yes, ma'am. So, ready ka? Or makikinig lang sa lecture? Or ano? Eh, kausapin ko muna yung kasama ko sa baba. Ma'am, kung hindi siya busy, eh, hiramin ko muna siya sandali. Kampan ko muna, ma'am. Okay. Sige po, thank you po. Ayan, okay. Because as what I have instructed last time, no, that you're going to do the actual BP taking. So, at least you need to have someone or you need to be physically present. Kasi if you'll just uh, maglilisip lang and ano, so, sayang po hindi tayo makakapaggawa uh, ng actual BP taking in which it is uh, very essential, it is very important for uh, you so that uh, ma-practice ninyo po uh, paano mag-BP. And okay, so we're waiting for the companions, no? So let's just, just have a review or recap on what we have discussed last time. So this is on a review para uh, malifresh po tayo on what we have discussed last time. Ayan. Okay, so we have tackled what is the meaning of blood pressure last time. So as what we have said, blood pressure is the pressure or effort exerted or, uh, from the blood flow. Okay, that is flowing into our veins or sa ating mga ugat. Come on, Mar. So, we have two types again of blood pressure as what we have discussed last time. Systolic and the diastolic blood pressure. Ayan. So, yung systolic blood pressure, yun po yung ating unang number na nire-record and then uh, yung second is the diastolic uh, blood pressure. Okay. So, last time, we were able also to discuss the different types of um, blood pressure apparatus, no? So, yung may iba't ibang ginagamit natin na Ayan. So, the apparatus that we're going to use for measuring blood pressure would be your sphygmomanometer as well as your stethoscope. So, kailangan nyo itong dalawang to kung uh, kukuha kayo ng manual BP apparatus or BP, I mean. But we have different types of your sphygma manometer. Diba? Discuss natin last time. Meron tayong aneroid, meron tayong digital, at meron tayong mercurial. But the mercurial type is already obsolete as what I have said last lecture. So, it's no longer uh, used sa mga clinics or mga hospital. So, it's only the annual type and the digital type of stigma manometer. Okay? So, we have also discussed the different parts of your um, devices last time. We also discussed the different cuffs that sabi natin, napaka-important eh, that we need to have the specific uh, BP cap para makakuha tayo ng accurate Make blood sure pressure. Okay? So, what we, as what we have said, if we have too big BP cap, the result would be a low BP. Pag sobrang late naman yung BP cap na gagamitin nyo para sa pasyente nyo, so the result would be high. And so, uh, we, have a we have stress last lecture that we need to have the specific um blood pressure cuff. Okay. So, there are also um, different categories. Sabi ko nga, um, the one that we're discussing now is already a um, it's already a review. So this is all this is only a review on what we have discussed last time. Okay, so we review na lang natin bago tayo mag ano, bago tayo mag um, virtual practical. Okay, so dapat everybody should have their blood pressure apparatus gaya ng instruction ko last time. Otherwise, it would be uh, useless, no? The teaching of the virtual practical would be useless. Okay. So we're going to concentrate on the part to where uh, we're going to take blood pressure which is we are going to take uh, blood pressure po sa arm pero we have discussed last time na uh, pwede kung uh, may mga iba
So, mayroon po tayong iba't ibang parts kung saan pwedeng mag-take ng BP. But yung pinaka-common is on your arm. So, you also need to take into consideration yung proper position ng pasyente ninyo. Kung kaya niyang umupo, if he is able to sit for the BP taking, so, he should sit up straight, both feet on the floor. It is probably most... Uh, um, appropriate to take BP sa left arm though pwede po siya on both arms then the palm should be facing up kung nakakaw po yung pasyente nyo but if the patient cannot sit for the BP up uh, BP taking so kung nak um, bedridden siya or lying position lang kaya niya so you need to elevate the arm to make sure that the arm is at the level of the heart Okay? So, hindi pwede yung uh, flat on bed yung arm ng pasyente, then you will take BP. It should be elevated. Okay. Then, um, we also discuss how to wrap the cuff properly. It should not be wrapped uh, too loose or too tight. Sabi natin last time, dapat na-insert ninyo yung two fingers once you wrap the BP cuff. So, kaya pa dapat insert yung two fingers sa arm. Pero pag na-insert mo lahat ng finger mo, meaning sobrang luwang. Pero kung di mo na ma-insert yung two fingers, meaning sobrang sikit. Okay? So, the proper um, wrapping of the cuff should be uh, maintained to get an accurate um, measurement. And of course, the placement of your stethoscope. So, saan dapat nakalagay yung cuff is doon sa brachial pulse which is located on your inner arm. Okay? So, yung bell ng step, ay uh, yung uh, diaphragm ng stethoscope ninyo, so, dito siya nakatapat on your inner arm. Kung saan, to where your brachial pulse is located. Okay? Okay. And then, you also need to Um, give attention to the dial in your BP um, apparatus. So, I, um, I have uh, some examples last meeting, no? So, I have taught you how to read the uh, numbers here. You take note that nakalagay yan, di ba? By 20. So, you have 0, uh, 20, ayan, 40, 60, 80, and so on. And then, you have the uh, big lines which represents by 10s. And the smaller lines represents two. Okay, so we have discussed that one uh, previously with the uh, last lesson. Yeah. Okay, so it. Now let's use it. Ayan. Okay, so aside from the movement, okay, take note, aside from the movement of the dial, you also need to um, pay attention to the sound that you're going to listen later on once you're going to take blood pressure. Okay, so we have also examples last time. We also heard examples and sounds of those uh, corotcop sounds na marinig niyo kapag nag na kayo. Okay? So, as what I have said, last meeting, if you're taking BP, you need to pay attention to the meter as well as to listen to the sound. So, the senses that you're going to use is your sense of sight and your sense of hearing. So, sabay. So, that should work simultaneously so that you can, okay, so that you can read the accurate reading of the vital signs. Okay? So, take note, um, na pag ano din natin yan, na pag usapan din natin last time yan, nagbigay din tayo ng uh, sample. Okay. So, ready na tayo. So, pakihawakan po yung inyong mga BP cup. I'm going to eat the yogurt and the nut and not good. Okay. The first thing that we're going to practice is on how Okay. Is on how are you going to hold the bulb? 
Okay? So the one that uh, you're going to use for holding the bag is your dominant hand nyo. Kung right handed ka, so right hand ang uh, gagamitin mo. Kung left handed ka naman, so left hand. So meaning so yung dominant hand. So once you grab the bag, so tingnan nyo na lang ko sa ini-illustrate ko, okay? So, it should be a dominant hand. So, while pressing, okay, so, yan na mag-press. Okay, so, practice to press your bulb. Bulb pala, bulb. Bulb kasi kung isa. O, yan. So, i-press nyo, yan. Okay. So, if, okay, if the cuff, okay, make sure that this is close, no? This bulb. If you can see here, this one, your valve, so you can open and close your valve na yan. Okay? Uh, if you're going to close, you will close it clockwise. Pag open naman, counter clockwise. Okay? So, you're going to use your thumb and your index finger to hold your valve. So, di ba, grinab mo yan? Panghawak mo yan? Then, itong dalawang finger ang i-adjust mo para hawakan itong valve. So, ganyan siya. Nakikita niyo ba? Ito mo. Should we drink the water first? Okay. So, if you're... Oh, sige. So, practice opening and closing the valve using only your two fingers. Okay. Okay, so ganyan, ganyan dapat. So, hindi ka, hindi, ito kasi may trabaho tong left hand nyo later. So, you will not be using your left hand, but only one hand to hold the bulb plus opening and closing your bulb. Okay? Sige, gawin natin ganito. So, let us close the bulb. We will see kung gumagana ba yung meter. So, close your bulb. Okay. Ngayon, press your bulb. Tignan nyo kung umaangat ba yung dial. Maangat? Hindi. So, meaning, nakabukas mo yung bulb mo. Sarado nyo to. Sarado nyo. Sarado nyo. Kasi baka nakabukas. Tapos, isa pa, Yes, kapag na, kung nag-i-inflate ba ito, lumulobo ba yung cup habang pinipindot nyo ito? Yan, lumulobo ba? Yes. Ilobo mo, minsan kasi naglobo mo. Okay, kumimin yung sa'yo, nakasarado na. Tama na yan. Okay. Okay. Then now, what you're going to do, hindi nyo na mag-drive ito na dahil sa arm ng pasyente nyo, yung nakalobo. So now, open again your valve. I-open nyo ito. Paki-open. Open po. Open. Open. Okay. Yan. Pag open nyo, malilis yung hangin kung, uh, malilis yung hangin ng cup. Okay? Pero hindi siya totally malilis. So, what you're going to do is you squeeze. Ayan. Then, you, you will hear air gushing. Squeeze nyo hanggang maging flat ulit. Okay? Make sure, pag magbibipi kayo ng pasyente nyo later on, dapat hindi ito inflated. Ayan. Umar natin ang single piece of rice. Okay. So, the next thing, so, alam nyo na, so, kung alam nyo na, open, close to, open, close, and then, you know how to, um, press the valve. So, make sure, nakaklose na po ito. Close nyo na yung valve nyo. Close nyo na. Okay, take note, closing is clockwise, opening is counterclockwise. Clockwise ang close, okay? Counterclockwise ang open. Okay, so i-close na natin. Close. Yan. Okay, now, we're going to put the cuff to kung sino man, kung may partner man kayo, or kung meron man kayong kasama dyan. So, I need to see if you can put the cup properly. Finish the right now. So, it is better if you're going to put it on the left 
Ma'am, excuse me po, bawal makita ang mukha ng nani ng amo ko kasi kinausap ko lang siya pa rin. Okay lang po? Yes. Sige po. Yung arms lang, yung arms. Hadi ba sa hadi mo? So, i-close mo yung ano, i-ano mo yung camera mo sa kamay lang niya, please. Hindi ba ang gorobot na po, hindi niya nakikita yung mukha niya. Nakikita pa kong day, adjust mo, adjust mo. Nakikita pa ma? Hindi pa. Sabihin mo sumandal siya para hindi ka makita. Okay. So, if you have your partner, no? So everybody, ewan ko kung sino ang nag-actual, kung sinong meron, kung sinong ready dyan, but we'll just proceed with this. Ma, hindi ka kumakano na budyote ako ma'am eh. Sorry. Makilig na naman na. Just rather. Jeez. Ah, hindi na. Okay. So wag nyo mo po muna ilalagay yung score din na. Okay, wag nyo po muna ilalagay yung stethoscope ninyo. What you go, what you're going to do is to first place your cuff. So the arm of your patient should be lying, ganyan. Okay, so kaganyan. And then ilapat mo. Take note, bakit yung mga ibang BP cuff po may nakasulat dito na artery, na arrow. Yung mga iba, wala. So, ang magiging basihan nyo dyan, makinig muna kayo, pag merong arrow na nakalagay, Miss uh, Albanya, makinig ka muna. So, tignan niyo yung BP cuff niyo dito. May pointer yon na arrow. May nakalagay artery. May mga iba, wala. Kung yung merong arrow, dapat pag nilapat mo sa arm na pasyente mo, yung arrow is nakatapat doon sa Brachial pulse. Okay? O kaya, yung tube na ito, okay, nakikita nyo ba? Yung tube na connected sa cuff nyo, nakatapat mismo dito sa brachial pulse. Okay, so, wrap natin. Wrap natin yung BP cuff. Sige, i-wrap natin yung BP cup natin. Okay. 